Should a parent ever borrow money from their 401k to pay off their child's credit card debt or frankly any other debt for that matter then of course as you can probably imagine my answer is a resounding no don't do it let me go through the reasons welcome to the bankruptcy podcast a podcast about untangling the complex world of bankruptcy in georgia each week we deliver the best insights and practical advice on how to navigate the legal waters of bankruptcy with expert guidance and real life stories. Now here's your host, Jeff Kelly. Hello, this is Jeff Kelly. And in this video today, I wanna talk about should a parent ever borrow money from their 401k to pay off their child's credit card debt or frankly, any other debt for that matter. And of course, as you can probably imagine, my answer is a resounding, no, don't do it. Let me go through the reasons. Number one, in most cases, the child has unsecured debt. And, you know, the adult child could probably or maybe file a chapter seven and wipe out the debt, or maybe they could file a chapter 13 and, and take care of the debt on their own. But when a parent comes in and saves a day and borrows against their 401k or takes worse yet, pays a penalty to take an early withdrawal, that is terrible, terrible on so many levels. But the number one level is this. The, your 401k is a protected asset. Creditors can't get to it. Hallelujah. That's an amazing, wonderful asset. Why on earth would you want to draw that down to pay off your child's debt that could possibly be eliminated in a chapter 13 or in a chapter seven? Now, I have four kids, so hey, I know what it's like to, you know, you love your kids, you want to protect them from pain. But here's the cold hard truth as a parent. When you take away the pain, you are also taking away a lesson and I cannot tell you how many times in the 25 years that I have been practicing bankruptcy, I have seen parents who end up in bankruptcy because they keep bailing their kids out over and over. And by the time they come to see me, there is no more 401k money. They've used it all bailing the kid out of whatever jam they were in. Don't do it. I know it sucks to see your kid hurt or suffer, but some of the best lessons I've personally ever learned in my life have been through painful situations. And, you know, your 401k, it's a protected asset. It's supposed to be there for you when you retire. You're not supposed to tap it ahead of time. If you do, you're going to miss out on future growth of that 401k and you're risking an option that, you know, you may not have a 401k if you go down that path. Don't do it. The penalties are like 10% for early withdrawals. And, and that's in addition to income taxes. Bad idea. It, it, it's a bad path to go. Like what you hear so far, make sure you never miss a show by clicking the subscribe button now. This podcast is made possible by listeners like you. Thank you for your support. If you're intrigued by the world of bankruptcy and want a comprehensive guide to help you get out of debt, head on over to kellycanhelp.com slash welcome and subscribe to our email list to have a guide to bankruptcy in Georgia. Helping people get out of debt delivered right to your inbox. Now back to the show. And again, I, I think... It's okay for a parent to think about their own financial stability because none of us want to be a burden to our children when we hit that age. We can't provide for ourselves. And when you put your 401k at risk over stupid things, it's possible you could be setting yourself up for that. If you've got any questions at all, don't hesitate to give me a call, 770-881-8449. You can talk to my staff. We've got a lot of free resources I've got a book on chapter 13 and chapter 7. It doesn't cost you any money to download it. You can go to www.kellycanhelp.com backslash welcome. And they also have a lot of podcasts at kellybankruptcy.com. And we've got a YouTube channel as well. So a lot of resources, a lot of blogs. I encourage you to educate yourself and don't touch 
the 401k. Thank you. Thanks for joining us this week on the Bankruptcy Podcast. Make sure to visit our website, kellybankruptcy.com, where you can subscribe to the show in iTunes, Spotify, or via RSS so you'll never miss a show. While you're at it, if you found value in this show, we'd appreciate a rating on iTunes. Or if you'd simply tell a friend about the show, that would help us out too. If you liked this show, you might want to check out our guide to bankruptcy in Georgia, helping people get out of debt. Available at kellycanhelp.com slash welcome. Be sure to tune in next week for our next episode.